dear professional friends in this video i am going to uh, discuss about the struck off companies by uh, roc on how to restore it on value on valid grounds if your company is struck off by the roc and is having some property in its name or bank balances in its name or has earned revenues while struck off period it could be revived by nclt under the section 252 of the companies act 2013 likewise nclt across the country has ordered for revival of the name of the company restoration of the name of the company uh, when there is a liti pending litigation at the request of the unsecured creditor or uh, to take delivery of the import imported goods from the port agreement to sell the properties of struck off companies when there is a agreement to sell the properties of struck off companies proof of new orders on hand or a development contract in company's name can be in such situations companies can be restored by the nclt and uh, it has precedents griffin developers private limited roc kerala the appellant company applied for striking of the name of the company under fast track exit scheme fte roc kerala accordingly struck off the company in the meantime the directors of the company purchased some lands and this was inadvertently registered in the name of the company in staff director's personal name as the lands purchased were registered in the name of the company inadvertently it has become necessary for the members of the company to restore the name of the company under section 252 of the companies act 2013 consequent upon striking off from the register of companies any transaction pertaining to properties owned by such companies by such directors or other signatories of such companies would be void ab initio and their nullity till such companies are restored by the nclt order under section 252 of the companies act to the so when the assets have been when the properties of the company has been the properties of the companies the directors cannot it are dispose it of when the company is struck off because they don't have any powers properties of struck off companies from roc cannot be used operated transferred or alienated in any manner until revived by the nclt under section 252 of the companies act 2013 nclt restores this 46 struck off companies name to protect the revenues interest nclt across india wide interim orders directs 46 companies which were struck off by the roc to be deemed to be restored to its original number entities petitioner tax department to raise demand by serving notice in such in accordance with the law in the case of few of the companies nclt notes that the reassessment proceedings under section 148 of the income tax have to be initiated it was argued by the N roc that the company has concealed and filed the fte application concealing the fact but the, that it does not have any assets and liability so while making application roc argued that the companies have made a false statement that they did not have any properties or liabilities further roc informed that they received a tax arrears demand from the income tax authorities against such companies where appellant company was able to satisfy that it was the owner of the property when its name was struck off by respondent roc from its register which it wants to utilize now to carry on the business activities and since no objection to the restoration of the name of the appellant company had been raised in the report of roc name of the appellant company was to be restored in register of the companies company law nclt kochi no objection were received in roc's report company name was to be restored in the register of companies restoration despite annual filing default for 14 years one company didn't file 14 years annual compliances but still it applied to nclt and got it the name revived mumbai court allowed private companies name restoration despite annual filing default for 14 years in bulaki das 
மோஹட்டா கம்பெனி பிரைவேட் லிமிடெட் வர்சஸ் ஆர்ஓசி மகாராஷ்டிரா அண்ட் அதர்ஸ் கேனாட் ஆப்ரேட் பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட் எக்ஸ் டைரக்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் எக்ஸ் ஆதரைஸ் சிக்னட்டரிஸ் ஆஃப் தி கம்பெனிஸ் விச் ஹேஸ் பின் ஸ்ட்ரக் ஆஃப் will not be able to operate the bank accounts of such companies till such companies are legally restored under section 252 of the companies act by an order of the mumbai company law tribunal asm consultant private limited versus register of companies pune it is seen from the petition that the company generated revenue in the year financial 2016-17 and 2017-18 the company has generating revenue to the tune of 29 lakhs 18,960 in the financial year 2016 and 17 and rupees 12 lakh 15,280 in the year financial year 2000 therefore it can be said the running concern it is a running concern the ground for strike off no business operation for a period of last two financial years by ROC appears to be unfounded ROC informed that there was no business action for the last year two years in actually they had earned profit in those years the company has not deposited heavy cash in bank account during the period of demonetization from the now 8th november 2016 to 31st december 2016 as notice from the annexed affidavit along with this petition and application however it is further submitted that in the said report that the roc has no objection to restore the name of the petitioner company if the petitioner company is willing to comply with the provisions of the act subject to the imposition of cost in in other cases also in various cases also nclt has restored the name of the stock of companies we will discuss what are those new delhi nclt it allowed a restoration of company's name at the biggest of unsecured creditor when the company had some unsecured creditor and they had some dues then the company may be review, uh, restored name may be restored by the nclt on the application by the unsecured so if you are a unsecured creditor and the said com- if the company which you have funded has been struck off by the roc then you have every right to apply to nclt to file a restoration of name under section 252 of the companies act 2013 alaga part nclt pending in litigation a valid reason for name restoration and it allowed that petition so in alaga part nclt co nclt dis- de- decided that when there is a litigation against a company for like tax uh, demand or any other litigation then the in such a situation the company may apply for uh nclt for uh, re- restoration of the name of the company to run the litigation to continue the litigation and succeed in it alaga bot nclt name restoration necessary for taking delivery of goods from the port and it allowed application so uh, when the company was struck off and the, when the imported goods was in the port and uh, being the company has been struck off it cannot uh, take away the pro- uh, imported goods in such a situation it approached the alagabad nclt and alagabad nclt allowed the company to uh, restore the name of the company new delhi nclt company's name restoration not a director's discretion once a uh, opted for exit under fts so in new in new, De- new delhi nclt to when a company has exited under ft it cannot apply for restoration of name so a certain com- nclt allows it certain nclt like uh, new delhi has disallowed it. friends this is a, a sum up of the video if your company has been struck off uh due to t- and if it is having some property in its name or bank balance or has earned revenue or there is a pending re- litigation or a unsecured creditor can request the nclt to revive the company to take delivery from the imported products from the port agreement to sell the properties of struck off companies proof of new orders on hand if the struck off companies have proof have shown the proof of new orders on hand or to revive the company or development contract in case of real estate companies the company can be restored the name of the company can be restored even though it has been struck off under the section 252 of the companies act friends if you have any cases like this we are here to help you 
to apply to NCLT and get the orders, especially the, those in two states, uh, Kerala and Chennai. We will file the application and get the revival order. Thank you for watching this video. This is R. V. Shagar, Practicing Company Secretary. I request you, please subscribe my channel. Thank you once again.